Welcome to the second screencast of React Casts. Pretty exciting. So today we're gonna start from scratch. So we had the Preact CLI, but I think it's important to get to know how this stuff works. So we're gonna download all the dependencies and we're gonna get running with Preact from nothing. So as you can see, there's nothing on this. Uh, it's not open here, but there's nothing on this folder. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is npm init and I'm gonna call it scratch react casts. Oh, he's right. So scratch preact casts. Okay, so scratch <laughs> preact casts. Dude, okay, so version 1.1, description, no need, entry point. It's okay, test command, no test command, git repo. No, nope, nope. Is this okay? Yes. So now I should have a package.json here. There we go. And I have a VS code. Amazing. So I am just going to change this license to MIT. And now let's install all the stuff that we actually need. So I am going to pull this up a little because I don't think you can see. There we go. So let's do this. So yarn add. So bubble loader. We need bubble loader. Bubble loader. We need bubble. Um, bubble plugin, uh, bubble plugin transform, transform object spread. We need this too. Uh, we need bubble, bubble. I think it's just uh, bubble preset preact. Yeah, I think it's bubble preset preact. Uh, we also need webpack. We need preact and we need webpack dev server. I think that's pretty much it. And I'm going to save all this to the dependencies and then couldn't find Bible plugin object spread. God damn it. I know I didn't know how to write this. Let me just come here. Bible plugin object rests. Jesus, there were still things missing. I think it's going to be like the hardest part of all of this. I'm also gonna mm, no, never mind. So let's do this because I wrote quite pack wrong. Okay, so I think that was too much installing at once, and I shouldn't do this ever again. But okay, fetching the packages. And there we go. So let's remove this and see it now. And I'm gonna add a uh, dev dependencies and I'm gonna move webpack and I move everything except preact there so delete all of this and come here and delete this and just do this and put it pretty like this yes okay so first step let's just create a um, build and this is just gonna run webpack so that we don't have to like come here and do this again so webpack and let's create a dev and this will run web back dev server. Uh, I think I said, okay. So first step, let's create the threaded web back, web back dot config dot js. So my computer is really on fire right now. So const path was require path. And so let's just module that exports this and okay. So first thing we got to do is select the entry file. So let's come here, create a folder called source and inside source, let's create um, index.js. Okay. So I'm just going to console.log up. So it's fancy, right? Okay. So entry is going to be that source index that js and I think it's output yeah output out put there we go and this is an object that takes the path and the path is equal to path that resolve let's do this and let's get the dear name so dear name and then append it test so this is all gonna go to the test folder and the file name is gonna be bundle file name bundle.js let me just do some clicking here okay there we go 
Okay, so now we got a module and then rules. And in here we need to test for any JS files. So I am gonna go and create this and I'm gonna say test and in here I'm gonna create an object. So this is an array. So test equals like this and now I gotta open a, a regex. So this, I don't know this by heart. Okay, I am copying this from my phone because I don't have an external monitor. So yeah, that's pretty sad. I'm buying one. Mine just um, just blew up. I'm serious. So things in my hand tend to like blow up for no apparent reason. And that is pretty cool. So actually this doesn't need the plikitas. The plikitas and there we go. So okay, I had to copy this, sorry. And I'm gonna use bubble loader. Bubble loader. So let's see if this works. Let me just, first thing we're gonna do is create a, a folder called this. Yes. So if you're asking, does Webpack create this folder? Yes, it does, but we need an index.html here. Let's come here and say HTML5, and I'm gonna call this uh, Preact Casts. Why do I keep doing this in two things? Okay, and over down here at the bottom, let me just put script and a source. Okay, that is equal to bundle.js. Amazing, right? Okay. So let's see if this builds. So yarn build. No, it doesn't build because I screwed up here somewhere. Okay, so unexpected token. I don't think this is it. Well, let me check. So unexpected token, this at 17. What is this closing? So modules, this closes rules. Okay, what's the problem? Okay, let me go to my trustworthy phone. So module and rules, rules is actually not an object. So rules is an array, guys. How did I not know this? I'm not, not the smartest tree in the branch, guys. You need to know this before we keep going. So you're in build, sorry. Okay, can't resolve source.index.js because I forgot a slash here. That makes perfect sense. Are we doing this now? Totally nailed it. So if I reload this, and there we go, we have webpack that just console.logs weepy. So let's build a webpack dev server. So let's put a comma here after module and uh, build. So dev server. And uh, we need to put the content base. So content base. And the content base is gonna be exactly this. So I'll just copy. So because nobody deserves to just, just, just see somebody type random shit. And I'm gonna say port 3000. Okay, so yarn dev. There's gonna be an error somewhere. Oh no, there's not an error. Okay, let's check this. Pretty sure this is still not gonna work. Okay, I think this totally works. So let me go to the console and we got stab upies. Okay, so we build a server, that's it. It's pretty fancy, but it doesn't do anything that we want. So let's come here and import h and render from Preact. Okay, all cool, right? Okay, so now we gotta call the render function and we just basically pass it a string. But since we wanna return everything inside of this, I'm gonna pass it like. So this takes two arguments. So the first one is what you wanna print. So I am just gonna print a div that says hello Preact. I can type in div. And then we have two options. We either put this in the document.body, which I don't really like, or we're gonna create a div here. So div with an ID that is equal to root and close this div and then in here after we write div properly we come and we say document document dot get element by ID and we pass it root and then it failed to compile okay It still failed to compile. Okay, so apparently I also have to install preset M. So, uh, yarn install. Sorry about the thingies. Yarn install babel preset N, which makes actually perfect sense. So, N and dash dash save dev. And I'm gonna add it here to. I don't have a babel RC. 
Oh shit, I think that may be the problem, guys. So, I uh, need to create a bubble that... I hate this thing about the... Okay, there we go, we need to select something. That bubble RC. And uh, we need to put like... Okay, so... Open... Okay, let me go to the preact thingy. So, pre... Uh, preact, preset, bubble. Okay. So, we kind of need this. And we also need plugins. And we need that huge name that we installed it. So, where is it? Transform object rest spread. Okay. I think we... Yeah, yeah I'll say. Uh, we also need to install ENVs. Okay, so bubble preset and save dev. So, it's not bubble. It's not yarn install. It's yarn add. As you can see, I'm kind of doing this alone with you guys, so... Okay, so done. Let me just add it to the thingy here, so env. They didn't need to, but since we keep going with this file. So compile successfully. And what do we have here? We have cannot set attribute name of attribute thingy. Okay. Okay, guys. This was my stupidity, so... This actually closes in here so we have to return this and the second argument is that so start the webpack dev server again because I did not have yeah exactly so bubble RC was added afterwards so I was correct uh, kinda it's just that my timing sucks okay uh, I don't yeah document that I gave root okay so we have hello Priya so we should now render just a div so let's create a new folder called components and let's in here create a new file called app.js let's go to the index and just render app and let's import so import app from components app.js oh Okay, this is okay in here because then we'll create more components. So import H from React, and now we're gonna create const app equals a stateless a stateless fun a stateless function, and in here now we're gonna like do the div, and we're gonna say welcome my friends to React. Next lesson. We shall make some routes. And I'm gonna close this div. And I'm gonna export default. What? Default <laughs> app. Okay, welcome, my French Supreme. Next, next, we shall make some routes. So the next thing that I'm gonna do, and this is because I kinda need to, is yeslint uh, init. I think I have to do this with yeslint. I think it's this way. Yeah. Uh, okay, so answer questions about your style. Are you using yes? Are you using yes six modules? Yes. Uh, it's in the browser. Do you use common JS? No. Do you use JSX? Yes. Do you use React? Yes. Okay. Spaces. Single. Unix. Do you require semicolons? No. And JavaScript. Okay. So I'm also going to add. So yarn. Add ESLint plugin prettier. Prettier and ESLint config. Prettier. And dash dash, save dev. Did I actually memorize these names? I think I actually memorized these names. Oh my god! So, so that's if we create ESLint.js. Okay, let's come here and let's add. I want plugins React and Prettier. And I want extends. To be just prettier basically so prettier I think we need a bubble loader priest okay so yarn yes lint everything just so it's not this it's this sorry okay so expected indentation so we have 100 warnings because we wait and this is only in the source I think is this only in the source? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, boy. Okay, so let's uh, yarn lint. 
And let's do fix. Oh yeah, I have to sit like this. So in fix, okay, done. And uh, let's just copy this and do a lint here. Where is lint? Where are the, oh, there you go. So lint is equal to yarn yes lint source. Let me just delete the yarn thing. And so I'm gonna go yarn lint. Now I got nothing. So in our ESLint RRC, we actually, you know, this is actually kind of cool. So source type module, React, and Prettier. And uh, we also have Extends Prettier. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this. We actually created something. It's not that good, but it's something, guys. So see you guys in the next lesson. And then we'll talk about React uh, Router. So see you guys.